way for a long time. This is this is not new to anybody really, is it? Because if it is, then you don't know me very well. The last vlog update I think I did was back in January. It is now June, so yes, I'm shit at this, I. Basically, the last time I spoke to you, I was preparing to go abroad for my EL placement for university, and I have now been and gone, and I've returned back from China. But I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet. I can't guarantee it will stay that way for very long. Um, first of all, I'm going to mention China because that has been the big thing that's happened. Uh, what I've been up to recently, what I'm hoping to be up to within the future, hopefully, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I've been busy, okay? I was away in China for eight weeks, about two months, for my experiential learning placement for university. I, yeah, it was fucking, I don't even know how to describe it. It was that complicated to describe to people. Everyone keeps asking me, how was it? And I can't describe to them quite in a fluent sentence how it was and the only two words I keep saying was scary and different because it's it was a culture shock and I'd been there for a long time and yeah it's hard to put into words what happened and there's some ups and downs like with any sort of situation remaining optimistic I'm going to point out sort of three sort of big trips that we went on whilst we were away obviously we were there for sort of uni purposes but we did have a bit of free time on our hands and we went to three different Three, five, three, two, one, seven, I don't know. Three uh, significant places. So the first place we went to was the Forbidden City. Now we went there within the first couple of weeks of us arriving in Beijing. I think it may have been the first week and we were escorted there by one of the ladies from the centre and her cousin who was coming to visit Beijing for the first time herself. So we were all completely new to it apart from this one lady who clearly knew what she was doing. And so here's the ticket that we had. Um, this is, we got this ticket when we went into the park bit. The actual place is free entry and it's a very popular destination to go and visit so if you've got some free time I recommend going really early in the morning because it's less busy and um, the security there was mental because uh, there'd been an accident I think a couple of days back or something or a couple of weeks ago I don't know but it was uh, crazy busy getting through all that security took about two hours it was a bit mental but we yeah we went from going in there which is like the houses of parliament equivalent i think i don't know don't quote me on that you're probably better off googling it but we were in there for a good hour or so walked around and then went through to the park which is where this ticket came in handy and that cost how many yuan did it cost three yuan which is about equivalent to 30p and then we ran went left yep then we went round the hutongs, which are like the living accommodation for people, they're quite popular to live in. And then after that we went round sort of the high street shops, um, which was just an experience in itself really, because there's a lot of shops that look as if they could be temples, because the sheer beauty of them is just beyond anything you'd find in the UK. So we did that in our first week of uh, being in Beijing and it was just a very long day walking but we were very glad that we did it and it was freezing that day. Uh, the Temple of Heaven was probably my favourite day trip out that we went on and it's mostly because the weather was so great on the day and all the pictures I've taken from that day don't actually sort of reflect how lovely the weather was it kind of all looks a little bit overcast but it was quite smoggy as well but it was really really hot and it was a lovely day it, it it's all divided into sections again unfortunately there's no map on the back of this ticket for me to be able to show you but um there's different sections you can go around uh, the temple sort of the main focus obviously and um it's surrounded by like huge um sort of grounds of parks and things uh, a lot of people doing dancing, it's quite a popular thing in um, Beijing for circulation purposes. Um, there's a huge thing called an echo wall, um, which is a bit like a whisper wall. So you can be on one side of the wall and it's like a huge sort of circle and you can hear somebody talking to you from the other side of the wall. So that was quite funky, we quite enjoyed um, talking to one another. By we I do mean Alice, um, people are probably wondering who the fuck did she go with? I went with Alice who is obviously my housemate. Um, so we went there for the day, that was a brilliant day thoroughly enjoyed that and our final trip that we went on was to uh, Beijing Zoo. Uh, Beijing Zoo is renowned for having pandas so that was called the main reason why we wanted to go because you can only see pandas in Scotland I believe in the UK and um, because they are endangered so yes we got our main ticket to get into the zoo um, they seem to like ripping tickets they rip sections off when you've been to certain bits um, and then you have to get a separate ticket to go to see the penguins because I was quite a child and wanted to go and see the penguins. 
So um, yes, obviously that's just a zoo, it's kind of easy to dictate that to for me. Um, so yeah, that's what we did trip-wise whilst in Beijing, and then we returned early, uh, just because the project didn't seem to be going very far. You know, it just needs a bit more development. But I am very glad I went, it was an experience I shall not forget. TV series wise, I have been caught up on quite a few bits and bobs. I think the last thing I told you about, I've been I've watched all of Breaking Bad and all of Dexter. I have now moved on. I am um, on to Game of Thrones, which I am thoroughly enjoying, and I'm ever so glad that I decided to start watching it because I'm now a little bit addicted to it, and I'm incredibly sad that Series Four is about to end. The it is just superb, and I'm trying to get Andy to watch it. Andy is my boyfriend, yeah, probably might know that, but um, you know, I've been watching that and it's just brilliant and I, I thoroughly enjoy the aspect of that you can sort of love one character one week and then hate them the following week, so it's always sort of fresh and new and I've been told it's very different to the books in certain aspects but I don't care, it's good and um, I thoroughly enjoy it and Tyrion Lannister is my favourite character by far as I think it's quite a few people's favourite character in that particular series so can't go wrong with that. I've also started watching The Walking Dead. I'm probably really far behind on all of these things because these things have been out for a while but I just sort of... I'm always late with these things. I jump on the bandwagon a bit later than everyone else. Um, I've started watching that because Andy likes it mostly. Mm -hmm. I'm alright, I'm getting through the series. It's taken a while to get through them because it does require a lot of uh, concentration maybe? I don't know. I don't know everybody's name. I'm not quite drawn into it as I was with Game of Thrones where you sort of get captivated into people with different storylines but Walking Dead is slightly different and it's to do with zombies. Mm, zombies! Oh, I've just thought of something that reminded me of Zomways. Zombies? Zomways? What are Zomways? Zombies. Mm, Karen Samways. I watched Karen Samways' vlog. I, I will link her in there. She will find out what I am talking about. And um, she likes zombies so that's what's triggered that. And I watched her recent vlog that she did, vlog 20. I can't remember what it's called now off the top of my head which features Brett Underwood and Karen Sunways and Hannah Padley so I did watch that and thoroughly enjoyed that so I will link her channel down below you should go and check her out because she actually does some quite decent stuff um, including Mrs Pettigrew yes um, and also um, Lauren Wilson link, link to her down there too she's pretty cool too her and Brett Underwood are doing a new series as to start when the new Doctor Who series comes out so I suggest you go and watch that too I am rambling, I don't know why. In recent weeks I've just finished all of my coursework and it is now summer. I've also had quite a few sort of good good news related things really. I've just got a new job so I'm over the moon about starting that. I'm incredibly nervous but really excited. I thoroughly enjoyed my training there and getting used to it and I get a free gym membership and a complimentary one for a friend which I have given to my mother as a bit of a treat because um, she wants to start getting fit and healthy again. I was at a wedding last week so um, I was all dolled up and ready for that and I was um, a plus one. I've never been a plus one before, I felt quite privileged. And then we were down in Coventry for the weekend, myself and Andy were down for uh, my grand's 70th birthday thing. She had a huge party and my uncle had to be Cliff Richard because my grand has a weird obsession with Cliff Richard. Says the girl who's got David Tennant on her wall. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where she gets it from. So that's what I've been up to. I've had a lot going on and I do feel really bad that I haven't filmed anything. I did try and film some stuff whilst in China but filming it was a bit of a hassle just because I didn't have the time um, to really sort of fix and edit it together. But if I can try and include some photos you can see what I've been doing out there. Um, I was hoping to do a video with, uh, with Brett Underwood as it were a couple of weeks back but unfortunately due to this, that and the other stuff that was going on. Um, we couldn't do anything about it, so that's a shame, but I will give him a shout out as compensation, maybe? Is that the word I wanted? Yes. A little bit of a side note about Rig Mail. I feel quite disappointed that he passed away. He is somebody that I've admired for quite a long time, and it's mostly down to my mother's influence, actually, because if it weren't for her, I would not watch The Young Ones, or Bottom, or I've seen Drop Dead Fred, uh, he was also in a rendition of Jesus Christ Superstar. Who knew? He, is, he was a very funny man, and it's a shame that he has left the world, but he has left quite an impression. Anyway, I'm gonna go because I am rambling now. I will speak to you as and when I can, and loving peace to you all as always. I will speak to you very soon, and goodbye. <laughs>